Hey, what's up, everybody? This is White, aka Anchivator here of Overthrow Productions, and today we'll be doing a video review for Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Mudflap. The Mudflap is one of the two twins from the movie. There are, I guess, there's uh, two sets of twins. There's Flare Up and Chromia, or Flare Up and RC, or RC and Chromia, whatever. There's, I guess, triplets there, or sisters. And then there's the two twin brothers, um, Mudflap and Skids. I don't have Skids just yet. I went to Target and they didn't have Skids. They just had like freaking 50 million Mudflaps. But uh, I wanted Mudflap more anyways. And this figure I'm very impressed with. You see he's in a Chevy Trax mode. Um, he has a missile storage thing back here which I don't really like. But let me see the missile side. Really nice orange and gray Chevy Trax. You see all up in here. All the creases and seams and everything. I got the variant. So this is Mudflap instead of Skids. Uh, nice translucent black windows. It's got the headlights and two uh, silver rearview mirrors. It doesn't show too much robot junk, but uh, you can tell that this is hollow and it does turn into something. But it's pretty nice. It rolls very well. The wheels have some silver in, uh, some silver lining in there, and they have uh, some door imprints right there. All right, got some lines up top, and it's just it's pretty good. And it's a nice deluxe size car mode. Now we're going to transform Mudflap. To transform Mudflap, the first thing you want to do is... Alright, the first thing you want to do is take the front wheels up here, and this, these sections, and pop them down. Alright, flip those down, and straighten up that hinge. Alright, do that. Like that. Alright, you want to do that. Like that. You want to come over here, take this flap, pull it out. Then kind of loosen up that, fold that up, take this door, and fold it down, like that. All right. Then you want to do the same for the other side. Now that I have it like that on both sides, I'm going to take this, uh, fold it down like that, fold this part out like that, and it's going to be looking like a jumbled mess like that. Go up here, pop that off, take this panel right here, which is his head is attached to. And Tab that in right there. It doesn't make any sound, so don't be waiting for a click, because you're not going to get it. Go over here, take the wheels. Take this one, fold it out. His arms are right there. You want to take the arms, rotate them up and over that. Take his big, giant, fapping hand. By the way, in this review, you will find no names, such as MC Paddington and MC Mofo. Their names are Skids and Mudflap. They're not MCs. I think the MC factor kind of adds to the whole racist thing that some people are getting, so kind of cool it. You're fucking racist. Anyway, you're going to have that all like that. Like that. You want to take all this junk up to the doors. Kind of get that out of the way. Take the doors, fold them up like that. Up. Up and fold it up out of the way. You want to take this, this chest piece, fold it in right there, and it'll tab into something over here. I don't, I don't know what it tabs into, but all I know it connects. You want to take the top half of it as a hook, and there's a back slot right here on the missile port, or missile storage port, whatever. Alright, you're going to want to take that hook, and just slide it in there. Alright? Roll. Hard to do. Okay, I'm gonna take this back here. Fold that down. Then all you gotta do is position the doors the way you want them, which I prefer the more movie accurate look. And then you have skids in his robot mode. It's pretty nice robot mode. It's kind of stumpy. Um, it's pretty uh, size accurate though. It's not as good as I thought it'd be, but he's surely not the worst of the line. He has this giant cubic backpack here, which I'm not a fan of, but it's better than. He, he could be a lot worse. Alright, see his color scheme? He has a gimmick right here. You press this his fist in. Uh, and besides Skids' his punching gimmick, you got this missile. Like dark, translucent gray. Whatever. Yeah, you can have it like that. Or down. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, I guess I prefer it down. It's less obtrusive. But I, I don't like these tab things. I wish there was a way to like store them in this mode, but there isn't. Um, he has actually two gimmicks. One of them is this missile launcher where you press this button and, uh... It doesn't shoot real well. At least mine doesn't. Maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but, uh, yeah. 
He has his um headbanging gimmick. I'ma bust your face up. But um yeah, articulation, these doors can move, however, head goes up and down, I guess, on the spring, up and down freely on ball joint, rotates three sixty, and do up down, rotate three sixty, rotate, bends the elbow two joints, rotate there. Then uh elbow down on this is different that goes up and still double joint at elbow. But yeah. There is no waist. I guess there's kind of front and back kind of thr pelvic thrust action, but legs are up, down, in, out, two knee joints, and foot articulation swivel action, kind of. So there you have Revenge of the Fallen, Mudflap, a.k.a. Herp, a.k.a. the ass half of the ice cream truck, a.k.a. not freaking MC Mofo! His name is Mudflap! Anyway. That's my satanic side. Anyway, 360. Last look at the figure. Pretty nice. I do recommend him in the ice cream or the the ice cream truck and uh, the Legends class and get skids and have the twin brothers here and get devastator and have them fight him. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. This very uh, weird review. Um, I promise I promise to do less screaming in the next review, but if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my videos and get a whole bunch more reviews coming your way. Um, this has been Ang Invader of Overthrow Productions with Revenge of the Fallen Mudflap.